All right, it's been a while since I've done a boiler video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I clean the combustion chamber of my natural gas condensing boiler. Uh, a tech showed me how to do this so I could save a few bucks every year. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do, I've already shut off the boiler for a while, let it cool off. I'm gonna take the cover off. So we got the boiler here. We got the, the uh, combustion chambers in here. We're gonna take off these bolts here. We're gonna take off the bolts up here that connects to the natural gas, the intake. Uh, and I wanna shut off the natural gas here. And now I'm just gonna go grab some tools and take off these hex bolts up here and uh, these bolts down here. So now I'm gonna disconnect all of the connections here. These are the dual igniters here. I'm gonna take these off. Take these connectors off here. I'm gonna go get my ratchet and take off the bolts here hex bolts up here all right it's pretty cool to the touch I have a 10 mil socket for this that's at least that's what's on my boiler and I'm not sure what size hex this is up here I always like to just loosen them first before taking them all off. Now we're gonna remove this unit here. This is the blower right here, the igniter there. The igniters are looking okay. Now let's take a look what it's looking like in here. I might remove that back piece so I can get in there with a bunch of water and wash it out. But it's actually looking pretty good. Like there's a little bit of build up here, but it's not my boiler's doing pretty well because I clean it. Uh, at least once a year. This is a condensing boiler and what there is is underneath here, you can see it, probably not, but what there is is there's a drain that comes out on the side here. So it goes down so when it burns, water is a byproduct of burning natural gas. It condenses and then it drips out and then it condenses into this tube and then out to a condensation pump. Yeah, that's all there is to it. So what's great about this is then I can flush this with water and scrub it down with a brush. I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum first and then uh, I'll wash it out. Also, don't be mucking around here, here too much. And uh, you don't wanna be breaking fibers off of that because that is some type of um, I forget the name of it, but you can, I think it's found in like propane forges and stuff. I've worked with it before. I think it's like K-Wool, but it's a board. And this stuff is not great for your lungs. So don't be like breaking fibers off of it. So I'm just gonna put a mask on while I handle this and while I vacuum this out.
So you can kind of see here what it looks like. It's actually not too bad. The upper part of the combustion chamber, get a light down here. The upper part of the combustion chamber looks all right too. There's a little bit of buildup. What the tech told me you can do is also uh, wash it out with a little vinegar to descale it if the scaling is really bad. I don't think it's too bad, so I'm just going to hit it with a brush and some water and keep scrubbing at it and working away. And uh, yeah, I got my bucket of clean water here. Got my brush. I got two brushes. Same with that. You can really get in there and kind of clean out all those spots between each one of those pipes because the water will then fall through and drip out. found using a spray bottle makes it easy too. That way you get fresh water in there all the time. Alrighty, I'm just about done. Night and day difference, nice and shiny now. Just gonna give it a good washing, spray down with some water. Awesome. Okay, time to put it back together. But before I do that, I'll just show you what came out the other end of the drain pipe. So right here's the drain pipe. And look at what came out. Look how green and nasty that looks. So there you go. There's my condensation pump over there. But uh, I'll take this out and dump that and then put the condensation pump back. All right, the last thing I'm going to do before assembling it is I like to just take a blower and just blow out any excess water and try it out a little bit before reassembling. Nice and dry now. Okay, just reverse order of operation, reassemble. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is I notice a little bit of leakage around one of the igniters. So I got a new gasket for it here. So I'm just gonna replace that and reassemble.
right, time to fire it back on. There we go. Flame is on. Temperature is rising. All is good. All right. Hopefully you learned something and uh, don't attempt this if you don't feel comfortable uh, working on mechanical stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.